side. Okay. Thank you. Praise God. Right. Now, the, the question today is, does the world, does the church believe and understand what God is saying, right? Are the world governments, leaders, population of all nations preparing for the greatest crisis of rejecting the lies and the mark of the beast, right? And accepting the truth, submitting to the king of Israel, coming from heaven to reign in his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, from the city and temple of Jerusalem. Well, this is a lot to, to capture, but that is what this course is about. Well, the second issue of the of uh, lesson one is you now God's love uh, unceasingly calls his son from Egypt even today. This is on question two, right? Hosea chapter 11, right, express God's heart for Israel, not as a uh, static, you know, photograph picture, but as a dynamic relationship, you know. So that's why uh, Hosea 11 verse 1 say, When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. But the more they were called, the more they went away from me. The sacrifice to the bells and they burned incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms, but they did not realize it was I who healed them. And so this whole chapter is what we need to read and continue to read, right? Um, so that we may be able to uh, absorb the love of God for Israel, right? And so with this printed, and and this file uh, is in the uh, course chat group, so you can download it. And uh, what is this journey? Like any children arguing with parents again and again, God is patient with Israel, scattering worldwide, uh, punishing them, uh, for for the wrong that they have done. And yet, Israel is taking a long time to grow up in their journey. What kind of journey? Number one, they have a journey of prideful disobedience in covenant unfaithfulness, only to be humbled with hard punishment in wars and exiles, even like today. right? Many people th think that the war in Israel is just an accident. It's just the neighboring not countries uh, are not good to them, right? But God has a bigger plan. Number two, right? The journey of Israel is that they have been through painful rejection, blatant disregard of God's presence, go their own immoral, idolatrous ways, ending in personal and fam uh, national failures, or you can say, right, end in curses instead of blessing. And then the third thing in this journey of Israel is that Judah and Israel divided and broken as a kingdom, dishonor God as king of broken kingdom. God only called one kingdom, but they broke it into two. They worshipped false gods, idolized world powers, suffered unprecedented oppression and torture. Now, in this journey, often in exhaustion and fear, they long to hear God by the river of Babylon, which is a song that we'll sing next week. Yet, God frequently sent prophets to awaken them and call them to revive their godly identity, right? Make what God gave them to be alive again, right? And God defended them in war to find healing and health in the homeland and learn obedience to fall in love with God again 
right, and find rest in God again, yet tasting God's sweet and pure intimacy only lasts a short while in the history of Israel. God longs for his firstborn Israel forever to come home to him in Zion from nations north, south, east, west of Israel on the world map. He disciplines but never reject her. Isaiah 43, 7 say, Bring me everyone who is called by my name, the ones I created to experience my glory. I myself form them to be who they are and make them for my glory. Well, God is bringing not any Tom, Dick and Harry. God is not bringing any Jew. God is not bringing any, anyone. God is bringing to, back to himself people he formed, people he made for his glory, people who will obey, people who will be faithful in their relationship, right? Today, the sign, wonder, and miracle of Israel is she is coming home for sure. Well, we have a picture here of uh, airlines bringing people all the way uh, from the northern part, north, northeastern part of, of uh, Asia, right, to America, to uh, North America, South America, uh, from Africa, uh, even from the Middle East, Europe. Wow, today, many are coming back to Israel. Well, God continues to call Israel because his love is eternal until all Israel is saved. Now, what does this sign mean to you? What is your attitude to Israel being in God's hand now? Well, as we meditate on Hosea 11 over and over, God will give us the answer. Now, the third issue of this first lesson is the identity of Israel. Israel is God's firstborn son. Uh, this is answering question three. Now, Exodus 4.22, you must say to Pharaoh, this is what the Lord has said. Israel is my son, my firstborn. But what is the meaning of firstborn? Right? In Exodus 13 verse 2, right? Set apart to me every firstborn male, the first offspring of every womb, among the Israelites, whether human or animal, it is mine. So in Israel, every firstborn male is given to God. Every firstborn, whatever, a horse, donkey, lamb, uh, whatever, is all given to God because it is God's. It belongs to God. Nobody can touch it, right? Now, today, uh, some may want to clarify whether firstborn is applied to Jesus and to us too, right? Well, Jesus is our firstborn. God say, Jesus is mine, right? God say, uh, God's begotten son, right? Now, so in Luke 2.23, we have at, at the Jesus dedication, right? Every firstborn male will be set apart to the Lord to become God's. So Jesus belongs to God, right? As Israel belongs to God, right? Now, in uh, Romans 8, we read about, you no, know, we uh, are the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. We belong to God, right? And or, or, or in the TPT version, say, the son is the oldest among the vast family of brothers and sisters who will become just like him, uh, like Jesus. Right? Now, this is very important. Hebrews 12, 24, about us being firstborn. The congregation of the firstborn. It's mine who are enrolled in heaven or in TBT as members of the church of the firstborn. 
all our names have been legally registered as citizens of heaven. Wow. Being first born, right, not only uh, give us that sense of belonging to God, that sense of being close, but we we are legal, right, in uh, being citizens of heaven, right? Now, so the question we're going to ask is, as we go through this course, there are many questions we need to ask, but often we got to ask, what does it is mine mean to you? What is your attitude to Israel being, it is mine? Let us set aside time to meditate Exodus 13 and talk with God about Israel being his firstborn. Exodus 4.22 Chew over daily what the Holy Spirit says in Hebrews 12.23 about us with Israel as legally registered citizens of heaven and share with whoever God directs you to share. Well, many of us have got passport. We are legally registered for our, in our nation. But here is a statement that tells us that as God's firstborn, we are legally registered in heaven. We belong to God, belong to heaven as well. So we have dual citizenship, right? Israel, as a people and nation, belongs to God alone. Living on the promised land, belonging to God as creator king, sealed by eternal covenant. So Israel is a kingdom ruled by the king. But today we see Israel ruled by the Knesset, ruled by, well, right now, right? Uh, the military generals or the, the military cabinet, right? Wow, they, they are human agents, but in God's plan, God is the king of Israel. Well, knowing God's heart or his first book and feel about Israel today, how will this study impact the church, the transformation of cities, etc.? Now, this is one of the product of studying this course, that it will impact our life, our churches, and our cities, right? Because as we learn that if you, if we learn to bless Israel, right? And the people of our church, the people of our land, the people of our city come together to bless Israel, God say, I will bless your city. I will bless your church. I will bless your family. I will bless whatever you belong to. Well, that is God's formula, right? Now, in Isaiah 49, uh, we need to read this over and over for God to speak his love for Israel into us, for us to love Israel. And uh, it is an amazing passage that I feel we should just read it uh, once through. Here is what Adonai, the Redeemer of Israel, the Holy One, says to the one despised, whom the nations detest, to the servant of tyrants. Right? That is what Adonai, Adonai says. When the king see you, they will stand up. Princes too will prostrate themselves, because Adonai, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel has chosen you. You are mine. Verse 8, here is what Adonai say. At the time when I choose, I will answer you. On the day of salvation, I will help you. I have preserved you and I have appointed you to be the covenant for a people to restore the land and distribute again its ruined inheritance to their owners. To say to the prisoner, come out to those in darkness, show yourself. They will feed along the path and all the high hills will be their pasture. They will be neither hungry nor thirsty, 
neither scorching wind nor sun will strike them, for he who has mercy on them will lead them and guide them to springs of water. Verse 11, I will turn all my mountain into a road. My highway will be raised up. There, there they come, some from far away, some from the north, some from the west, some from the land of Simnim. Sing, heavens, rejoice, earth, break out in songs, you mountains, for Adonai is comforting his people, having mercy on his own who have suffered. But Zion said, Adonai has abandoned me. Adonai has forgotten me. And God said, Can a woman forget her child at the breast, nor show pity on the child from her womb? Even if these were to forget, God said, I will not forget you. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your wars are always before me for God's protection. Wow, what a mighty revelation of God's heart. But let us invest time to read over and over and let the Holy Spirit speak to us. Now, the fourth issue, right, uh, about Israel is Israel, the apple of God's eye. God identified with Israel as his own, right? Now, Zechariah 2.8 this is what the Lord Almighty says. After the glorious one has sent me against the nations that have planted you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. God say, if you touch Israel, you touch my eye. Right? And uh, so God's choice and desire for Israel would make everyone jealous. God is Israel's compassionate father for Israel to align with the role of a child maturing into a son, daughter, and his bride. God is perfect husband for Israel to be the faithful bride or wife. Now that is the picture of how closely right, uh, Israel and God bound together. You touch Israel, you touch God. Like that, right? Deuteronomy 32 say, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob, his allotted inheritance. In the desert land, he found him in a barren and howling waste. He shielded him and cared for him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye. Right? Like the pupil of his eye, say another translation. God is the wise king for Israel to align with. This is the role of God's kingdom children, citizen, soldier, servant on earth today as it is in heaven. Do you notice this truth in Israel's war in the past and today? How God aligned with Israel to defeat the enemy. So what does this mean to you? What is your attitude to Israel now? Meditate over and over Zechariah 2a. God identifies so deeply with Israel forever. How do we identify with Israel? Well, that is what the Lord is going to show us the rest of this course. The fifth and the last point, the mystery of God's eternal plan for Israel is being fulfilled until King Jesus comes in glory. The world is waiting for the greatest hope to release and revive the rest of humanity back to God, resting in his home too, right? So we have uh, many passages here. I'll just quickly mention, right? He said there is a mystery, right? That uh, will keep you uh, from thinking you already know everything, right? You, you cannot understand fully what this mystery is about. But if you come to God, God will show you. Right? What is the mystery? A partial and temporary hardening to the gospel has come over Israel, which will last until 
the full number of non-Jews have come into God's family, right? We need to remind ourselves, national Israel's mystery of a partial hardening to the gospel is temporary until the full number of non-Jews come into God's family, right? We need to really capture this and uh, look at Israel and look at the nations, right? And how these things uh, happen. Now, Romans 11, verses 28 to 31, is for us to read ourselves. Israel's opposition of Yeshua as the Messiah has opened the door of the gospel to all non-Jewish whose glorious transformation will make Israel jealous and desire the very gospel of salvation. Now, that is God's plan. That is how God is going to bring Israel back to himself, right? So today we are reminded, Paul said, am I saying that Israel stumbled so badly that they will never get back up? Certainly not. Rather, it was because of their stumble that salvation now extends to all the non-Jewish people in order to make Israel jealous and desire the very thing that God has freely given them. Right, God has not rejected Israel or placed them with Christian as a spiritual Israel or replaced them. Right now, the timing that God will bring all of Israel to salvation points to a great harvest in Revelation 14, right, where the one who sits on the throne, right, in the white cloud will swing his uh, sickle, and then a great harvest of the whole world, right, will come about, right? This is uh, what uh, will happen, right, when Israel come back to God. The whole world will be touched by God, right? In Romans 11, 12, it says, so if all the, if the world is being greatly enriched through their failure and through the fall, great spiritual wealth is given to the non-Jewish people. Imagine how much more will Israel's awakening bring to us all. Through Israel's fall, great spiritual wealth is given to the non-Jewish people. Through Israel's awakening, imagine how much more will God bring to all of us. Right? Um, so, uh, let us meditate over and over Romans 11, right, to hear what God speaks about Israel and us. Now, with this uh, meditation of uh, chapter 1, well, let us now come to a point where we can uh, really uh, learn together right ask question share what's on your heart ask whatever to uh to to achieve our common purpose to experience israel's god right that is our purpose and to be used by god right now um as i've said uh, that we are here learning not just to bless ourselves we're here to learn that we may be a blessing to other people. So I, I'm proposing that we are a growing end time community. Uh, I call it GETC, right? And we are centered on God's heart for Israel. And we are to multiply, right, through a structure of, uh, like yourself, anointed trainers, that is covenanted with God to establish Isaiah 59, 21. Because God has given us a covenant to have the Holy Spirit and God's word in us and they will not depart, right? Now, believing in this covenant, receiving this, experiencing it is fundamental for us to grow in our life with God, in our life with Israel, right? Uh, so here we have 
um, our united aim, our common purpose, which, as I say, uh, is to be improved, right? Is to be improved uh, and blessed. So as you go through this in your own time, you may, may see some loopholes or something that can be said better. Please uh, share. All right. Um, let us hear any responses tonight so that uh, we can uh, bring to a time of uh, closing prayer. I want to say something. Uh, usually after the closing prayer, right? We will come further I'm, discussion. I'm yes, thankful please. I'm in this group. When you mention about the purpose of this group is to um to 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 impart uh, Isaiah fifty nine verse twenty one, I think that is very very true. To ignite the Holy Spirit in us, and then you wrote, the mentioning of Romans eleven is a reminder to me. Although I've been reading Romans many times over, but to um, the hardening of temporary hardening of Israel, and then uh, bring in, usher in us Gentile into the the kingdom of God, it makes sense, you know. It makes sense, and um, as the as the war is going on, I heard testimony of people, uh, many many more Jews are coming to faith. So I think we are really really in the end time. And the book, and the book that you, the behold he comes, that is also timely for me. I, <laughs> it's very timely. I started reading it end of last year, and now daily I read it. It just, I, I can't express in words, but it is so, it sum up everything. It sum up every theology. It sum up every, every uh, sermon that I have re read, and I also have preached that, and I, I think it's really reviving us from the inside. We don't go back to past revival, but now we are living. We are living the revival spirit. We are reviving ourselves. Amen. We are having, we are having a flame inside us. Uh, so it's about yeah, our personal respond to God. It's about our walk with God. It's like as I read this book, it is like speaking to me very personally very deep inside you know uh, in reflection of previous years since i become christian and now anticipating is coming i think we are on track i would believe that yeah we are on track yeah wow thank you pastor jubilee right i i, I just come to know pastor jubilee and uh and God's spirit have knitted us together. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure God is doing something beyond ourselves. Uh, yeah. I really uh, am excited to hear uh, that the spirit of God uh, is speaking to, uh, to some of us so that we can you know, um, really be a blessing to other people, right? Um, so we don't become a dead sea. We become the Sea of Galilee. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Uh, any others like to share? Yeah, unmute yourself. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Catherine, yes. Yes, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, I was wondering if every time, you know, uh, about about Israel. You know? I say, well, how come in the church, uh, we are not praying for Israel? Uh? And when you talk to them, talk to, talk to my friends, uh, you know, a lot of them, uh, they, they, they don't know and they don't bother. They think that they, maybe Israel is very far away in the Middle East or what. And, um, and this, uh, this one, my, you know, I, I, I it really, you know, uh, bother me uh, because uh, I realized uh, the Genesis uh, Genesis uh, 12, uh, uh, three, uh, verse 3, uh, is uh, those who bless Israel will be blessed. Ma. So I say, well, these people, they don't bless uh, yes. you know. And if you curse, if you reject, uh, then Israel will reject you, maybe. And, and so yes. uh, so I, I I keep on, you know, sometimes I, I, I look at the church. So I say, truly, uh, it, you know, they, they don't bother. 
So when tonight, uh, I, I think I thank God. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad uh, that I joined this, uh, this one. Uh, I mean, you know. Is, thank uh, you. Thank uh, you so why much. is well? Why is well? <laughs> you know, uh, people, uh, people yeah. understand the really? thing. Uh. So I pray that uh, more of us uh, will be able, uh, after learning uh, and uh, studying, uh, we can share with others and we know. Why is it these people they don't bother? Because they don't know. So it's time that we, we you know, we, we, we know ourselves, we can be a blessing to them uh, and share with them. Uh, uh, right. Amen. You really raise a very, very deep need. A need that may not uh, be openly acknowledged. <laughs> Because it's a bit malu to think that hey, we have done something not not quite complete, right? But tonight, I I want to confess my own sin, right? As a pastor for many years, I actually you no know, think that I am the spiritual Israel, and therefore I I don't need to think about you no know, Israel in the land, right? Now the Lord has awakened me. Right? Wow! Thank God! Praise God! For what you are doing now. Um, okay, any others? Yeah, actually, uh, uh, we tonight we have Michael Chu uh, who uh, led the worship, right? I want to just, just say that he also led teams to go to Israel, right? And um, in fact, he's leading another team. When? Uh? Uh, actually, planning to go uh, this coming April. Uh, yeah. April. Yes, April. yes, April. yes. Yeah. 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 We, we traded, traded the, the ball. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There will be many groups uh, coming. So just pray for me uh, so that we can bring a lot of them uh, to Israel to bless Israel. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, let's pray, pray for, for Michael. Michael. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because, because you no. Know, yeah, you, you can, can lead, lead there, there, but, but you, you cannot, cannot guarantee that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Only God can guarantee them. Can protect oh, them. Oh, 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 Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Are they, are they, are they, are they, are they oh, oh, we yeah. have a uh, uh, Pastor Solomon, <laughs> <laughs> one and only from Sarawak. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ko. Yeah, praise mm. God you're here. <laughs> yeah, we... Share something with us. Yeah, we've been... Um, I mean, personally, we've been... Uh, we, we understand the role and the place of Israel and our faith. But I'm glad that your, I, I think this lesson may get more systematic. <laughs> Although uh, overall, we know that Israel, what happened in Israel actually is, is a kind of a uh, uh, key to, um, to things, our Christian faith. And uh, I, I look forward to the systematic book. <laughs> Amen. That, Amen. That Amen. Is presented to us. Yeah. yeah. I, I must say tonight is a, a gentle introduction. <laughs> uh, because the truth need to be stated very clearly. <laughs> but the truth always hurts. <laughs> uh, but um, we need to gently enter so that we can accept where we need to repent, right? As we go through these uh, 10 lessons, right? Uh, well, in, in 20 weeks. Now, now, the Holy Spirit will convict us of areas that um, we are not right, right? If we are willing um, to repent. <laughs> and then the Lord will say that, no, because you repent, no, I will bless you, right? Repent and bless Israel, I will bless you. Wow. Okay. Um, it's only ten. It's only ten o'clock. Is that right? Yeah, ten o'clock. Yeah. So we we still have a few more minutes. 
that uh, any others want to share before we invite uh, Pastor Balan to, to uh, close us in prayer. But uh, we let the uh, let let others share a bit, and then before we we close. I wonder if I can just freely pick on some of you who are, you know, key mature leaders to share something. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I, I want to uh, invite, you know, my older sister, Flora, <laughs> to uh, actually share. <laughs> Flora, could you share something? I was not feeling kind of well to do tonight. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, as I look through the questions, um, it helped me um, to have a desire to know more about uh, what we are expected to share for tonight. Um, yeah. Um, uh, what really touches me uh, is actually, in other words, like um, if we say we love God and if we say we love Jesus, but if we don't love Israel, it is just like we are deceiving ourselves, you know. Um, God loved Israel so much. Yes. And how he have chosen Israel um, you know, how he accepted his firstborn, even though uh, they are rejecting him, he still loved them and he's bring them. But then for us, we really need to truly love, love, uh, love what God loves and hate what God hates. Amen. So in other words, is uh, we have no choice. We have to love Israel. And, and this uh, give me, I, I ponder upon this, you know. We have our own, own children. We have uh, uh, the sheep that we shepherd. You know? uh, sometimes they are broken our hearts and so on. Mm -hmm. But then uh, we should follow our Father God's uh, uh, the way. And the heart of the Father God, you know, to love and never stop loving those uh, 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 rejecting re, re, rejecting us or offending us or rejecting God. Uh, this is some of the things that, you know, uh, it helps me to ponder upon that uh, for, for tonight. Very good. You, you, your, your sharing really touched me. <laughs> uh, to really know that if you love Jesus and yet you don't love Israel, we are deceiving ourselves. But many people will not say that, right? Many people don't, don't even know that. But uh, we are learning, right? We are learning. Um, so thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I don't know whether... Uh, this brother has come back from Hong Kong. Peter Liu, are you in KK? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, wow. Praise God. Welcome back. Would you like to share something? Okay. Uh, I'm still quite tired from coming back, but I find this uh, is a lot of, uh, it's quite a heavy stuff, but I think the, it, it, it explored the biblical significance of Israel, which uh, nominal Christians or normal Christian do not uh, ponder it into it. So I find this course to be quite uh, intriguing. And I think uh, it, I'm sure as we go along, we will discover and uncover a lot of uh, uh, 
perhaps you would say the revelations. Uh, so Amen. I'm truly looking into Amen. the next few more courses coming up. Amen. Amen. Yes. There's so much. So much. Thank you. Know, you. That, yeah, the, the depth of this study uh, make us really wonder where how how much of the surface are we scratching? <laughs> There's a lot more, like the apostle Paul said, you know. Oh, the depth of his knowledge, right? It's uh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Are there any others? Yeah. I, I feel like inviting uh, Dr. Grace Young. <laughs> Are you there? I, I, can you share? Or oh, any others like to share? All right. Well, I think this is a good time to just conclude, right? Uh, just want to say next week, can you prepare uh, bread and wine for us to celebrate the Lord's Supper to remember Jesus? Amen. Together as a family. Amen. Uh, so that, um, you no, know, as a family, we will, uh, well, grow together, gel together, right? For the purpose that he put on our hearts. Amen. Now, I'd like to invite uh, Pastor Solomon uh, from uh, Miri, right? To close us in prayer. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Bless. Bless be you, O oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, O oh Lord, this uh, this moment, this divine appointment among, among friends. Thank you for opening <clears throat> opening our understanding unto the to Israel deeper and what God's purpose for uh, for Israel as to the people of God thank you for uh, and, and to reveal the mystery of God and the purpose of uh, and your plan for Israel and for your people Father just pray Lord um, even as uh, even as we have been blessed by 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 Israel in that he, who brought into Jesus into our to uh to us Gentile we we pray for them Lord the Jews especially that that uh, they will soon and very soon and very soon they will the eyes the spiritual eyes the and heart will uh, be open and come to love Jesus himself uh, oh Lord even as we try to understand the heart of Israel, the heart of the message, the, uh, the gospel, we, we pray that you're more and more that uh, the happenings in the world will cause Israel to, to, uh, to come to you, not in their own strength, not in their own understanding, but in the new covenant that uh, is uh, the Messiah that brought that is in Jesus Christ. Bless our... Bless our um, studies together with uh, this fellowship, O oh Lord. Grant us an uh, open heart and with spirit, and that we may learn deeply into what uh, God has uh, for us in the studies. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I just read on the meeting chat from Kathy Gore. She wrote something wonderful. Kathy, would you like to share that? Share what you have, share what's on your heart. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I just thought we went through the course. You know, of course, all this while we we pray and bless Israel. But as we went through the the verses, and then uh, I definitely believe it's the Holy Spirit can go deeper in me and check us because in the end of the days. We, uh, we need to be free from uh, blemish and wrinkles. 
and I believe uh, with this course, God is, you know, even the tiny thing inside me, I uh, need to get committed and need to come before the Lord and I need to repent, I need to change. Yeah, so uh, out of the, during the session, uh, Reverend Ku was uh, sharing, deep inside me suddenly come out jealous. How come God loved Israel until that level, you know? So it, I mean, the word jealous come out inside me. So oh, I have to come before the Lord. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. all this while in the surface, we are we are serving the Lord. We are meeting with the brother and sister. We we the, these are all the hidden sin uh, inside me lah. Uh. So I never thought of it. But then the conviction suddenly pop up. Okay, and then oh, I said, hmm, I I have jealous uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, towards the, the the chosen nation of God, uh, and it I believe after the cause and then of all this conviction and the cleansing, uh, our prayer towards uh, Israel, we are we are better in the area of our sincerity and our transparency, lah. Not only pray towards the mouth, not ah bless Israel, yeah 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 yeah, no? yeah. So, but the spirit, uh, we 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 are uh, can say polluted, lah. In this case, it's me, lah. So right. I have a jealous, polluted spirit inside me. No doubt we come together and pray and bless Israel. But that is not what God wants in us. Lah. So we better uh, come before the Lord and repent now uh, before too, too late. Lah. <laughs> oh, okay, thank right. you. That's all for me. Thank you. Oh, God. What a wonderful sharing, right? That if you know how much God loves Israel, you cannot help but being jealous. Say, God, I also want it. Amen. <laughs> I also want your intimacy. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we will just call it a night tonight. And then we will, uh, uh, you know, send out the recording tonight in the same chat uh, chat group. So uh, anyone want to, to go through it and those who are not able to come tonight, they can actually go through it too. Okay. All right then. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Good night, Shalom. Shalom. Good night. Good night. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah. Okay.